<laughs> it's happened again, this time in Coney Island. Chaos as people enjoying Easter Sunday run for their lives after thinking they heard gunshots around 7.30 p.m. Some took shelter inside the Surf City restaurant captured on surveillance video. Police rushed to the scene near the iconic Cyclone roller coaster but found no sign of any shots fired. They tweeted, all reports of any shooting by the amusement area in Coney Island are false. There were no shots fired or anyone shot. <laughs> this follows on the heels of that wild scene at Penn Station Friday night when terrified commuters also thought they heard gunshots and ran for their lives. Commuters huddled in fear on the floor of the main waiting area, not knowing if they were in the middle of a terror attack. It turned out the so-called gunshots were actually the sound of a taser that cops used on an unruly suspect. Remember the scary moments at JFK Airport last August when passengers actually ran out on the runways after what sounded like gunshots turned out to be noise from a TV tuned to the Olympics? And two weeks later, the same thing happened at Los Angeles International Airport a wave of panic over false gunshots. It's a sign of the times. Unfortunately, we live in an age of terrorist acts. So what should you do if you find yourself in the midst of panic? Stephen Fabian spoke to security expert Bill Stanton. What would you do? OK, well, I don't know what's going to be at the end of those stairs. And if there's a mass exodus, exodus that way and people are running and falling, I see an open area this way, another way out. I'm going this way. So while the crowd's going this way, you think, OK, this might be a different way out. That's right. Let's head over there. That's right, because I'm trying to think one step ahead. And unless people are specifically telling me this way to safety, unless guys in uniform or police are giving me specific instructions, who is better than myself to know how to get out? Yeah.